Hello and welcome to Bioinformatics and Computational Biology Lectures. This is Lecture 5 in the Reverse Vaccinology Series. In this series, we are designing B and T cells multi epitope subunit vaccine for the SARS coronavirus 2. Before we move on to lecture first, we will talk about what we have done so far in this series. We know about vaccines and different types of vaccines. We know about reverse vaccinology and how reverse vaccinology is better than conventional approaches of vaccine development. We know how to select candidate proteins for vaccine development and we know how to predict CTL epitopes and how to select the best CTL epitopes. We know how to predict HTL epitopes and how to select best HTL epitopes. We also know how to construct a vaccine sequence. What we did in previous lecture, we constructed a vaccine sequence. We use the CTL and HTL epitopes for the ORF1A, B, ORF3A membrane glycoprotein and spike glycoprotein of the SARS coronavirus 2. We also used an adjuvant and, and joined all these epitopes and adjuvant using uh, suitable linkers. As you can see here in this graphical representation, here you can see the CTL epitopes. These are the CTL epitopes for the proteins as you can see and this is the adjuvant that we placed at the end terminus of the vaccine sequence before the CTL epitopes. We used a e triple a k linker to join these and this adjuvant to the CTL epitopes. Then we placed the CTL epitopes in an order of the ORF1 AP polyprotein first then followed by the ORF3 A then membrane glycoprotein and then spike glycoprotein and we placed a a y linker between these ctl epitopes and at the end of the ctl epitope at the end of the last ctl epitope we placed gp gp g linker we used the same linker then for the htl epitopes as you can see all of the uh, htl epitope uh, we uh, used in this sequence as you can see the sequence of HTL epitopes are same as that of the CTL epitopes. As you can see the ORF1AB and then ORF3A and then membrane glycoprotein and then spike glycoprotein. So this was the graphical illustration about a vaccine. So in this lecture we will be predicting and generating a secondary structure for the vaccine that we have constructed in previous lecture. For that purpose we will be using the PSI PRED uh, server. But, uh, but before we move on, we will talk about the secondary structure first. In secondary structure, we have three parts. The first one is alpha helix and then beta sheets and then loop. As you can see here in this uh, picture, here uh, is an example of the uh, alpha helix structure. We have uh, different uh, points uh, as you can see here. This uh, the alpha helix is spiral in structure that uh, seems like a spring and we have 3.6 residues in each turn and the hydrogen bonds between a hydrogen atom of one residues and oxygen atom of uh, the fourth residues down the chain connects these uh, alpha helix uh, structure and the R group is extended outward as you can see here the green represents the uh, R group of the amino acids these are uh, uh, these are outward from the alpha helix as you can see the green and uh, there are 3.6 residues per turn from this line you can see from the green uh, uh, R group to the next green R group there are 3.6 residues and this uh, this represents the, the red is the oxygen and the gray is the uh, hydrogen of the residues and the Mm, a line between them represents the uh, hydrogen bond. Next we have uh, beta sheets and the secondary structure. You can see in the structure the arrows represent the beta sheets. The B in beta sheets as you can see these are the anti-parallel. We have parallel and anti-parallel beta sheets. The middle one two are the parallel beta sheets while the one uh, on the uh, left and right are the anti-parallel beta sheets. As you can see beta sheets are uh, formed uh, whenever uh, two peptides uh, come near to each other and form hydrogen bonds or when a single peptide bends 
over uh, itself and uh, forms hydrogen bonds that results in a pleated uh, sheet like uh, structure and that's why it's also called uh, beta pleated sheets we have uh, four to five residues in uh, each turn the proline and glycine are abundantly found in the uh, beta sheets and the hydrogen bonds uh, connects the uh, hydrogen atom from uh, of one uh, amino acid and the uh, to the oxygen atom of the next amino acid in the uh, structure then in the parallel or uh, anti parallel as you can see as i told you that on this side these are the anti parallel while in the mid these are the uh, parallel beta sheets you can see the loop connect the uh, beta sheets and the alpha helix and i will talk about that in a moment you can see here the hydrogen bonding the upper uh, line uh, represents one polypeptide and the second line represents the second uh, polypeptide and then we have loops loops as you can see in the magnifying glass uh, that uh, represents the uh, loops and the loops have different properties actually the loop uh, connect the uh, beta turns and the alpha helix of a protein structure and they vary uh, vary in uh, shapes and lengths and these are located on the surface and are very necessary for the uh, proper functioning of the uh, protein structure so uh, we will uh, need our protein sequence to have on the alpha sheets beta turns and coils in uh, good uh, amount so now we will move on to our uh, practical session so here this is the vaccine that we have constructed in our previous lecture this is the adjuvant the mammalian beta dependsin that we used to boost the immunogenicity of vaccine sequence and these are the htl lipid and the ctl lipid top sorry for the different proteins that we saw i will copy the sequence from here that is the 366 amino acids i will copy the sequence and here in psi prepared server Uh, as i told you earlier that we will be using for the uh, vaccine sequence mm, for the secondary structure prediction here you can see the tick mark because i am uploading a sequence data if you are uploading a, a pdb structure then you have to click on the pdb structure here you can see a tick mark on the psi pred server the psi pred have multiple uh, functions uh, to offer but uh, for now we will only focus on the uh, secondary structure so here i will paste the sequence as usual in this box and then i will enter a gmail id to get the results as soon as it is completed and then a job name so here for job i will write the sars coronavirus 2 vaccine i have and then uh, i have already uh, done this before so i will show you the results for our vaccine sequence here you can see the yellow shows the beta sheets the pink shows the alpha helix and the gray shows the uh, coils are the loops in our uh, vaccine sequence here you can see and the uh, the key is given uh, here you can see the yellow represents the beta sheets as you can see here are the beta sheets and the pink represents the alpha helix the pink as you can see here these are the alpha helix and then the uh, thread the thread or the line in the gray color shows the coils are loops in our vaccine structure as you can see here and uh, here and this shows our uh, confidence score the confidence score for each residues are uh, given separately you can see above uh, each of the residue there is a confidence score if you click on it you will see the confidence score uh, here you can see the highest confidence score and the lowest confidence score for this residue you can see 9 and then 8 and then 5 and so on click on the individual uh, epitope and the sorry residue and you will see its uh, uh, confidence score so this is the overall secondary structure of the vaccine so now if you want to download it you can get it in svg format or the uh, png format so i will download it in svg format for now and 
to the desktop so that it can be easily accessed I will click on it and here it is open so we will need uh, this um, uh, this picture uh, to show in uh, our publication here you can see the 366 amino acid vaccine sequence and here we have the secondary structure for it the alpha helix the coils and the sheets are uh, shown here now uh, when uh, you have to calculate it manually like for example you have to count the beta sheets and then divide it by the total number of the uh, residues and multiply by 100 and uh, so as for the uh, coils and the beta sheets and that is how you get the percentage of the uh, coils beta sheets and helix in your uh, sequence and that will be then represented in the uh, uh, paper here you can also download this one in, in uh, both png and svg format so that was all for this presentation and next presentation we will be discussing the tertiary structure of the vaccine structure prediction its refinement validation etc